here we can start the way we, we tend to, uh, in these puzzles, we can look at repeated digits. We can place this eight pretty quickly that way. If you look at the sixes, you can place these sixes quickly. And at a point like this, what, what's drawing your attention if you make this kind of shape or make this kind of progress early in a puzzle is that here you almost want to think about the digits that aren't there and start just trying to pack them in. So for instance, this needs, this is one, two, it needs a three. We'll put in the information we have, which is there's a three in the bottom. It needs a four, it needs a five, and it needs a nine. And what turns out to have happened is the three, five has to be down here. So we've made this progress there. And so in a puzzle like this, when I, I'll find regions, like when I make particular projects or progress, I'll try to look at a particular region. And here's a, at the same time I opened up this area, let's just put in the remaining information you should have then. Another area I opened up was really down here in this piece that I filled in the last digit uh, in this, this part of this row. And I have two left over. And I've trained my eye at least to look at these leftover digits. There's a, a three nine up here. And so the three nine can't be down there. And so I would actually instantly cue in visually to the fact that I know the, the two digits that are in this, this pairing. And I've, I've locked down to what that hidden pair has to be. And now I can use that information over here. I trickle it out. And so there are four, five, seven left over. And so you can say this rather fast. And now it's going to be an issue of using the remaining information you have in this middle area and pushing digits around. So there are still, again, three di or four digits left to, to fill in here. And that's the most information I can make. There's a one that goes in there, but it can go in one of three places. But over here, there's more interesting progress. I look to the right, make a 1, 8. Now I place this 2, which gives me this 2, this 4, this 1, and that 7. And so by just focusing my attention, once I opened up this area of the puzzle as a box, and then just use, you know, just attack this middle area, I actually made a lot of progress in the puzzle. And if you use this puzzle, this progress elsewhere, you're going to end up making uh, inroads to, to the end game that you can see it on. Now you going upwards, but making lots of good progress in this direction. I could go similarly in these directions up and out. But it's, it's focusing sometimes when you unlock a, a geometry that looks interesting to just make sure you, you consider all the possibilities in that area that will give you really quick progress in a puzzle.